Hello, welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from the sandwich book of 1900, we're making a boy's dream sandwich. Okay, to make this sandwich filling to equal parts diced pineapple and diced banana, we add strawberry jam. Doesn't say how much strawberry jam, so I'm going with that amount. Then we put that onto buttered bread. Okay, let's give this a boy's dream sandwich a go. <laughs> well, that was a disaster. All right, so that was a bit of a mess. Uh, but here's the deal. This is tasty. You know, you got pineapple and, I mean, you saw what I put in here. Goes together really well. Um, it's a lot of sweet though, and I do want to plus it up with one thing. I'm going to add some salted plum powder. Li Hing Moi is its more common name. Um, this one just says tropical powder. A little salt, a little sour. I think it's going to go really well with all the sweet in here. Okay, let's give this a boy's dream sandwich plussed up with the Li Hing Moi uh, salted plum powder. Oh. That is delicious. A little bit of salt, a little bit of sour, counteracting the sweet, but going really well with the sweet. That stuff is really good on any fruit. All right, the original A Boy's Dream Sandwich. I mean, it was messy, it was really sweet, but it was a good combination of flavors with the strawberry and the, the pineapple and the banana. As a dessert sandwich, snack sandwich, I don't know, I'd probably give that about six and a half, seven. Plus up with the Li Hing Moi uh, powder, the salted plum powder. That's like an eight and a half, nine dessert sandwich. It gets so much complexity and interesting flavors into it that work really well with all the sweetness in there. I highly recommend you pick some up, put it on ice cream, put it on fruit. It is fantastic. All right, I am gonna finish it. Probably not gonna be the only thing I eat for lunch though. <laughs> See you tomorrow.